Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch to React and welcome to our closed private React export uh, pilot. So this video is for the ones that are in this pilot, but we thought that this is how it's going to be when exporting to React from our code app. So why don't we just share it? And so you can start learning right now uh, the steps uh, that you need to do. Okay, let's do it. First of all, uh, you will need a license for our code app that activates this part. Uh, this license is not available yet, uh, only for the ones in this closed private uh, pilot. Secondly, you will need a new version of our code app that is not publicly available yet. But that is the only thing that differs this from our uh, normal code app. Uh, this is the same version, it's just a new, new one and it has this uh, that you activate with a paid license. Uh, that will be available maybe like in a month or two, something like that. So, then you of course need to link in our code app to a sketch to react enhanced sketch file. Or nothing will work. So, uh, I have done this. This is a very simple demo. Uh, it is linked to our code app and you link stuff with file link sketch file or like command um, L uh, so here it is uh, and then you go to add to export and you need to do this for each page you have in your um, linked sketch file so this is just one page so I just pressed there once and you get this message there then you go to download and first first time it looks like that you press here and you press there boom damn good coughing okay so you downloaded uh via the react tab and here's the zip you unzip and uh let's check it out what we have in here uh, we have package.json, uh, we can uh, check it out in uh, our code editor. This shows us uh, everything, all the dependencies uh, that we have here and this is all the things that are going to be installed. Uh, so important to understand, you have not installed anything yet. Uh, this is the script that's looks on all the npms and says we need those guys come here install in this folder okay you're installing on your hard drive in this very particular folder yes cool so uh, we can call look at um actually we can do like this if you you can t grab the whole folder and just put it like this in visual studio code it's an excellent code editor it's free and you get this nice uh, tree uh, structure here. Uh, you have everything here. For example, uh, start. Uh, you have, uh, this is the things that are in start, start page. Uh, you also have the style variables. It's like the styling of each page. This is the styling for the start page. So it's called, it's called start style variables.js. Here's, here's where you can change stuff like naming, uh, everything actually, the size of the fonts, uh, the font itself, etc, etc, etc. So, okay, let's start insta installing now. First of all, you will need to install node.js on your computer. We have sent you a document where everything is written. You have instructions for everything. This is just a video to show you uh, the next step. So, open the terminal app. 
You know that weird little app you go to sometimes and install weird things on your Mac? Now it's time to be there a lot. So, uh, you take your terminal, you need to have admin rights for this to work, uh, or nothing will work. Uh, you go to your terminal and you enter cd, uh, that means change directory, and then blank space, and you drag your entire unzipped folder, let's do this, like that, and then you press enter, okay? Now you are ready to install all those packages. You write npm blank space install and enter. And this is going to take a while, uh, depending on your connection and stuff like that. Um, maybe a minute or two or three. Um, there are a lot of files that are being installed right now onto this folder here. So uh, one thing, to, to remember here, please do not install this directly on Dropbox, OneDrive or Google Drive. Uh, they don't like when you put like thousands of small files in a folder. Uh, you will get like, a, I got a Dropbox automated email saying, you have too many files. iCloud Drive actually works really well. Now in terminal, you enter and pm start and what happens now is um, you're starting a server and it will open your here starting development server and it will open your preferred um, web browser in my case it's Chrome and it will open the thing that you exported from our code app to, and this is now React. So uh, this is uh, the cached version. Let me wait for the, the new one. It looks exactly the same. Important thing, this takes a while. Uh, so just chill. You see this? And let's try this out. Let's go to our code editor. And here we have uh, here we have start.js uh, this one. If you press um, option set, then you get like this. It's view and toggle word wrap uh, wrap. Yeah. So let's try this out. Let's go into the text here. Let's create a funky. React context component and then you save and it should auto update there. Awesome. So that's it. Uh, you now have a working React export. This is awesome. Cheers. Hey. So uh, let's say that you did all the other stuff and then you closed terminal app, you did uh, went to lunch and stuff and then you thought, damn it, uh, how do I get back to my developing environment? Okay, this is not difficult actually. So here's our folder and uh, we have all our stuff here. And here's the terminal. So if we would enter npm start, for example, let's check out what happens. Not, it gets an error is saying uh, no such file or directory. This is related to npm not being able to find a file. So we need to change directory, cd blank space, and tell the terminal app, where, where is our build? It's here. So enter and now run npm blank space start. And I hope this will work now. Yes, it works because it triggers the scripts. Uh, and it will open up Chrome and it will open up our exported thingies that we have in here. This is so awesome. This takes a while, so don't worry. 
as it, you will see a window soon here. Here it is. Boom. Opening Chrome. Or if it's Safari that you that's your preferred browser. And this also takes a while. Don't worry. Drink some coffee, listen to some music, just chill. Starting the development server. I, I really don't understand why this takes so long, but, I, but I'm a designer. I yeah, I don't understand stuff like this. Uh, just accept it. So here it is. Now you are back in your developing environment and uh, you get some um, messages here. Uh, this is because in our exported sketch to react enhanced sketch file, we don't use uh, all of these things. So you just get uh, a few warnings. They don't mean anything actually. Uh, and we are going to take these away uh, in a future release. Uh, but don't worry, this doesn't mean anything. So that's it. Okay. So let's say that uh, we are satisfied with our React app here and we want to build this. Run a build. So before doing that, uh, if we just go to the terminal and enter, you have the readme here, it says uh, npm run build. It will build, uh, it will work, but it assumes that you are going to put this in the root folder of your server. It says here, uh, by default create react app produces a build assuming your app is hosted at the server root. So we, in my case, I don't want that. I have another root, uh, demo upload slash react test one. So we need to copy this, this one, and we need to go to our package JSON file and open it up. And after version, below version, you paste this and you change this to the correct file path. In my case, it's like this. So it's demo upload slash react test one react test one boom and um, save and now we can do npm run build let me check again i am new to this npm run build okay let's try it out ah now i know what's wrong i did this mistake the last time you cannot build uh, while the server is running. So you need to do um, in the terminal, uh, control C. Now the, and I also, I did this wrong. So you know, this is very, very particular. You really need to focus here. I wasn't focused, obviously. So first of all, you need to stop the server by entering control C, and then you need to npm run build. Okay, let's do it. Now the server has stops and we sh npm run build. It's great that these things happen because if they happen to me, maybe they will happen to you. I don't know. Like that. Now it works. Uh, as you can see, beautiful. Creating an optimized production build. Uh, this takes a little while. And now we have changed our boom. So this one here, let's try this out. Here's my build and here are all my files and this should work. Uh, not there, here. Let's, up, let's upload this to our server and hope for the best. Uploading, uploading, uploading. Boom. Boom. It works. God damn it. <laughs> it's so awesome. So this is a React app built with Sketch to React. Let's celebrate this. This is amazing. Woo!